warnings are few. The signs are sudden. The ground shakes. The tide goes into reverse. A great roaring sound fills the air. And then, it strikes. Wave after wave of crashing, crushing water. And when it is over, nothing is left. A tsunami. The word in Japanese means harbor wave. Japan has been hit by many tsunamis in its history as a result of its location. It lies across the edges of four tectonic plates where most earthquakes, the principal cause of tsunamis, are born. When two tectonic plates push together, the resulting earthquake sends enormous amounts of energy up through the ocean, displacing huge amounts of water. A series of waves expands in all directions. In deep water, these waves travel fast, up to 500 miles an hour, but reach a height of only a few feet. A passing ship may not even detect them. But as the waves enter shallow waters, friction with the ocean floor lowers their speed and raises their height. As they move onto land, the waves can rise to a height of a 10-story building. A tsunami wave doesn't break like an ordinary wave. Instead, it advances like a wall of water, crashing over everything in its way, sometimes reaching more than a kilometer inland. More damage is caused when the wave moves back out to sea, dragging everything in its path underwater and out to sea. Most tsunamis have several waves, arriving between 10 and 60 minutes after the first strike, just when survivors think the danger has passed. The deadliest tsunami ever recorded occurred in December of 2004. An earthquake off the coast of Indonesia caused a tsunami that rushed across the Indian Ocean and reached as far as the coast of Africa. Whole sections of cities were destroyed. More than 200,000 people died. Most had no way of being warned. Five thousand miles away in Hawaii, scientists at the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center monitor the Earth's movements 24 hours a day, hoping to prevent a similar disaster from happening in the Pacific region. If they detect a quake big enough to cause a tsunami, the scientists track where the wave will head and warn the people in its path. Their advice is simple. Abandon coastal areas and move to higher ground. Wait for news that the danger has passed and be ready to deal with the destruction that a tsunami inevitably leaves behind. 